post party party, full of inquiry into the child abuse uh, and the investigations that have been going on. Can you tell a little bit about why that's, why that's important to you? Okay, well, this is something I've been calling for for the, the last couple of years, ever since the whole Seville affair broke and I've been calling for an overarching inquiry into the whole history of child abuse in this, in this country and I've asked the Prime Minister twice now if we can do that. He is um, not in favour at the moment but now the pressure is building up. So just a couple of weeks ago seven MPs led by myself and Zach Goldsmith with MPs from Labour, Liberal Democrats and Karen Lucas, the Green MP, we have jointly signed a letter to the Home Secretary asking for this inquiry uh, again and the, the reason for this I mean, it's several fold. One, I think, post Savile, there's a there's a huge confidence mm. issue about whether we are dealing with child protection rights in this uh, in this country. And so, what I think we need is to look at the whole history of child abuse, child sexual exploitation uh, um, against children, going right back to the to the 60s, 70s, 80s, um, 90s. At the moment, we've got this drip feed of reviews into NHS hospitals, into schools, and uh, music schools army schools, the church, the Catholic church, the BBC, entertainment, high profile celebrities hitting the news virtually weekly and that's undermining confidence. So let's look at the whole history of it holistically. Secondly, let's make sure that all those victims of historic child abuse have now had the opportunity in Bolden to come forward with their stories. They're getting the help they need to get through that and that the perpetrators, if they're still out there, are being pursued. Thirdly, when did child abuse start to improve? Because children are much safer in this country now than they were in the 60s or 70s. Was it the Children Act in 89? Was it the North Wales Care Home uh, scandals that brought it to public attention in the, in the 90s? What actually changed? And finally, the most important part of all this is to make sure through that work that every institution, be it the BBC, be it entertainment, be it schools, be it the church, the NHS, has a robust safeguarding policy uh, in place to make sure children are being protected properly and that that policy is being followed and implemented. And I think only then can people then absolutely be confident that their children are being properly protected. And so that the people can see that that's, that, that's the case. Yes, I mean, the work that social workers do, because, you know, 99% of the, of the time, social workers are doing a fantastic job protecting kids. It doesn't make the news. What they do hear about is the headlines, the Jimmy Savills, the Daniel Pelkers, the Victoria Climbiers, when things go wrong. And actually, there's a lot of good work that's been going, going on there, and I think we need to make sure the public are aware of that and have confidence that those people charged with child protection, those professionals, are doing the best of their, uh, the job to the best of their abilities, and they've got the right tools to do it. It's very reassuring for the public to have seen it, it grow from the original seven MPs, I believe, to 44 today. And is there anything that the public can do to help support you and the other MPs uh, if they yeah. are concerned about this? Well, this just started off as a letter by seven MPs to the Home Secretary because a lot of people have now latched onto this, so they're now writing to their own MPs. So next week, in fact, Zach Goldsmith and I are writing to all 650 MPs, asking them if they will put their names to this and to sign up to the, to the letter. And I would encourage anybody to write to their own MP to say that they would support this and to urge their own MP uh, to sign up to it. And the more MPs we get, I think the more chance we have of getting just sort of inquiry that some of us have wanted for some time. Thank you very much for, okay. for taking the time to speak to us, Tim. Pleasure. And, and good luck with... Wasn't, uh, wasn't expecting that. With your letter. Good luck with your letter okay. next week. And, uh, and fingers crossed, hopefully we can get some movement on it. Thanks Thank very you. much. Okay. okay. You get all that? Very good. That's great. Thank you.